Tell me you're not actually thinking of seeing her. Before that arrived, I hadn't thought about her in months. But then I realised I can't remember the last time I thought about Becca either. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The woman who killed your sister does not get to make you feel guilty. Fran says she regrets what she did. Oh, of course she does. Think of all the illegitimate kids and the benefits she's missed out on. I wish you'd never written. Good. Because you've got enough on. What with the MS, juggling two jobs, not to mention raising the child of the woman that Fran murdered. Do you think I owe it to Becca to find out what she has to say? And to Charlie, too? So that she can beg for forgiveness? I'm angry as well. I mean, I never got to tell Fran what I think of her. I never got to look her in the eyes and tell her all the things that she took from my sister. Like, Charlie's first words or his first day at school or just being there when he needed her. And all the time she would have laughed or cried or fallen in love. No, don't you think she's taken enough from you already? But I also want to know before she died, did Becca suffer? I think there are some things that are better off not finding out. But what if Charlie has all those questions one day too? Well, he can find out for himself, can't he? But you have done an incredible job of raising Charlie. Becca would be proud of you. Do you think so? I know so. I mean, here you are, years later, still fighting for her. Eh? Hey? You're the best sister she could have asked for. <laughs> Incredible. Why can't the world just leave our family alone? And why can we never be happy, even for just five minutes? I don't know. No, this isn't fair you know, for me to put this on you either. But I need you to tell me what to do. Well, you start by ignoring this letter, OK? Let Fran live with what she's done. You've had to. And so has Charlie. But you don't owe her anything. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat>